In this video, we will demonstrate the new Amazon VPC functionality added in Sophos Firewall version 19 that enables the easy VPN connection of the on-premise firewall to your AWS network infrastructure. It supports importing, monitoring, and managing your AWS VPC connections such that the users can now import the VPC configuration XML file from AWS or use the IAM credentials to automate the tunnel setup on your Sophos firewall, including BGP-related routing and the associated IPsec policies. Now, before we jump into the demo, let's take a look at the network diagram first. On the left side, there is the AWS cloud infrastructure having multiple EC2 instances hosted inside the LAN VPC network of 10.10.0.0 with a slash 24 subnet range. It also has virtual private gateway configured for IPsec site-to-site -site VPN. Since it supports redundancy, it connects to the on-premise network using two IPsec site-to-site -site VPN tunnels. As you can see, both the tunnels have different public IP addresses associated with them. These are tunnel IPs provided by AWS and used in BGP communication as well. The default AS value for AWS Virtual Private Gateway is 64512. In this demo, we have used a custom AS value for Sophos Firewall, which is 65001. The Sophos Firewall device is deployed with the LAN network of 10.38.1.0 with a slash 24 subnet range. The public IP associated with this firewall device is terminated on the ISP modem and both the IPsec tunnels are connected to the firewall device using this public IP. Now let's see a quick demo of this feature. On the Sophos Firewall, navigate to Site-to-Site -to -site VPN Amazon VPC, and here you can see it supports two import methods. The administrator can either enter the AWS IAM user's credentials so that the system can detect and upload the VPN tunnel configuration associated with the Sophos Firewall's public IP. Alternatively, the second method is to upload the VPC configuration file directly. Now, in the AWS console, we navigate to VPC Site-to-Site -site VPN Connections. And for this demo, we have already configured a VPN connection with two independent tunnel configurations with its BGP details as well. One important thing while configuring the VPN connection on AWS is that the user must configure the local and remote network CIDR as any so that the BGP peering over the IPsec VPN tunnel can be established successfully. We click on Download Configuration, select the vendor as Sophos, the platform as Sophos Firewall, the software version as V19, and the Ike version shows both Ike V1 and V2. For this demo, we will select V2 and click Download. It will download the config file, which is in XML format, and the user needs to ensure that the tunnel outside address must be the IP address configured on the WAN interface of the Sophos firewall. In this demo video, the firewall has the IP address 10.38.2.4 so we will make the changes in the VPC config file for both the tunnels and save the changes. Now, on the Sophos firewall, click on the Upload button and select the VPC config file. And finally, click on Import. After a few seconds, we can see that there are two IPsec VPN tunnels that are configured and get connected automatically. Click on IPsec Profiles to see that it automatically creates custom IPsec profiles based on the configuration parameters available from the VPC config file, and uses them to create the IPsec VPN tunnels. Navigate to Network Interfaces, and we can also see that the XFRM interfaces are also configured for each VPN tunnel, with the IP address in the 169.254 subnet range. Next, navigate to Routing BGP 
and we can see the router ID and BGP AS number configured automatically, along with the BGP neighborship IP address and their associated AS number. This is detected from the AWS config file and configured automatically. If BGP is already configured on the Sophos firewall, then the user must first configure the existing ASN value of the Sophos firewall in the customer gateway configuration of AWS Web Console and use it in the site-to-site -site VPN connection. In the Networks section, we will add the local network subnet 10.38.1.0 with a slash 24 subnet mask so that the routes for this network can be propagated to the AWS VPN gateway via BGP peering. Then navigate to Administration Device Access and ensure that the dynamic routing has been enabled for the VPN zone so that the BGP peering gets established over IPsec site-to-site -site VPN tunnels. The final step is to create the firewall rules so that the traffic from the AWS network to the on-prem resources, and vice versa, can flow in and out successfully via the Sophos firewall. To verify that the BGP peering has been established, navigate to Routing Information BGP, and it will show the neighborship details for both the BGP IP addresses. It will also show the routes that are learned dynamically and the BGP peer IP addresses in the summary section. On the AWS console, we click on the refresh icon and it shows the status of both the tunnels as up and the details column shows that it has learned one BGP route that has been propagated from the Sophos firewall side. Finally, to verify the traffic flow, we will try to ping from an on-premise LAN network computer 10.38.1.8 to the AWS EC2 instance of 10.10.0.8. So, we take the RDP access, verify the source IP using the ipconfig command, and initiate a ping request to 10.10.0.8. As we can see, the ping reply is successful, which means that the traffic flow works correctly. And this concludes the demo of the new Amazon VPC functionality added into Sophos Firewall version 19. We hope you liked the video, and thank you for watching.